Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sierra and I'm the owner of Sierra Stitches, which is my very own crochet small business. And today's video is super special because I was contacted by Lauren SB, who goes by a menagerie of stitches. I'll put her contact info here. She contacted me on Instagram and she said that she's releasing this new book and she wanted to send me it so that I could, you know, promote it and talk about it. So it's finally here and I've already opened this so I know what it looks like inside but I thought I would make a video about what the whole experience was so like getting it unboxing it she actually sent a crochet kit along with it to match up with one of her patterns so I thought I would do that with you guys and then also do like a little mini book review talking about you know what my thoughts are on this book because it's actually my very first crochet pattern book that I've ever owned so yeah stay tuned okay so time for the unboxing and now as i said i have opened this so i tried to put it back together as best as i could for this video but the one thing i must say was i was so impressed with the packaging it was absolutely adorable the presentation was just chef's kiss so i don't know if you're ready but This is what it looks like and as you can see she has a cute little sticker of her logo and I will include some more clips of what it all looks like with the unboxing. Okay, so the first thing that I took out of the box was this adorable little picture of these little turtles and this is brilliant because it's like a um, glossy so it's like almost like a like a photo card kind of thing where you can keep this and use it as decoration but on the back it is Lauren's contact info which I think is so brilliant honestly because like why not give your customers something that they can you know keep along with your information on like just like a normal business card and then it also came with this which again this was like a postcard kind of kind of thing and came with a little letter so in this little letter she says that this book has safari arctic and pet shop patterns so i'm super excited for all of the different animals that i can make and again this is like also that fancy kind of paper so i am going to keep this and i'll probably hang it up somewhere and she even signed it at the bottom, which I think is just the sweetest thing. And she really just went above and beyond because like I said, not only did she just send me the book, she sent me an entire crochet kit to go along with it. So she sent me the cockatiel crochet kit. She sent two little bags of stuffing. This adorable little kind of like sack. And if you open it up, it has the yellow yarn. Now this is going to be the Lion Brand Yarn Pound of Love in the color Honey Bee. And this is also Lion Brand Yarn Pound of Love in the shade Oxford Grey. And she sent me these two yarns for the details. This is Lion Brand Skein Tones in Peachy and Basic Stitch Pumpkin. And this is just an adorable little drawstring bag. I definitely think I'm gonna use it like when I'm on the go and I wanna just take along a small little project. I think it's a super cute touch. 
and again just going above and beyond she sent this adorable little tiny package look at this little washi tape the little smiley faces so cute and then this came also with the safety eyes a stitch marker and a sewing needle so everything that i'm going to need to make this and then last but not least the best part which is the actual book I am so excited to have this. I always see her books in Barnes & Noble and I've always wanted one. So this is honestly amazing that I was able to get one. And look, she also, she signed the inside. It says, happy crocheting, love Lauren Espy. Amazing, that's, I feel like I have like a famous author's signature now, it's the best. And upon first look, I mean, Look at how organized it is, first off. And just more, this is a little bit about her. And also, this adorable picture of all these little animals. I'm in love, look at that. And then the crochet kit, like I said, goes along with one of her patterns and I got the one for the cockatiel. So this is a beginner pattern. And look at this absolute unit. He is so adorable, I cannot wait to make him. Like, literally, look at that face. I'm so excited to make this guy. And then, I would have to say my second favorite from this book. I looked at all the patterns and it was really hard to choose, but this one little guy really stood out to me. Look. It's a walrus! He's just such a little chunker. He looks like a potato, I'm not gonna lie. And I am so excited to make him too. I have to find some yarn that would work, but I'm really happy. Just look at this. And also, if you're a beginner, I mean, look at how amazing all of these photos are. Like just to be able to, I mean, I'm a visual learner. So to be able to have all of these resources for you, like look at this. Just the amount of detail that went into this is honestly, I could not even imagine because it really does take hours and hours for just one pattern. So to write a whole entire book where all of your patterns are this detailed, I mean, look at this. Like that is just, that is just crazy. This level of detail is honestly amazing and I would highly, highly recommend this. And then another thing that I was not expecting, but I'm really pleasantly surprised about, is that Lauren takes the time to talk about all the different stitches and techniques that you need for her patterns. And again, with a bajillion photos, like look at this. She literally takes the time to teach you how to crochet the stitches that you're gonna need to know for her patterns. So it's really truly beginner friendly and Honestly, I really think this would be like a perfect like Christmas gift or like a birthday gift for somebody who's interested in like crocheting amigurumi for the first time. I definitely think this would be a really good resource for them to use. And then also I thought I would show the little title pages for all the different sections. So the first one is the safari. So there's a giraffe, a hippo, a lion, an elephant, and a zebra. So cute. And then I think this might be my favorite section coming up just because it's so unique because I really don't see a lot of patterns for these kinds of things. It is the Arctic. So we have a beluga whale, a harp seal pup, a penguin, a polar bear, and the walrus. And look at them. There's my favorite one, the chunky little walrus. I'm obsessed with him. And then the very last grouping of the animals is the pet section. So we have a cat, a chameleon, a cockatiel, a dog, and a guinea pig. And for me, from this section, without a doubt, my favorite is the chameleon because just look. Look at those little eyeballs on the chameleon in the center. I'm so obsessed. I cannot wait to make every single one of these animals. And I also saw people have been making them with not just acrylic yarn, so they've been using like velvet yarn or plush yarn to get them to be super soft, but also it like, since the yarn is thicker, it makes the actual plushie bigger. So I am so excited. I really want to make a giant walrus. So I'm so excited.
Hi guys, so now it's the next day and I am so excited to crochet because I don't know if you guys have ever had those days where like literally everything goes wrong because I'm having one of those days. So it's 3.30 right now and I'm so excited to just get into my zone and just chillax and crochet. So let's get started. So I have this book stand here for like my law school books, but look at how amazing it is to double as like a little crochet book holder. So now I won't hurt my neck when I'm looking down at the book. I think that's so awesome. So I just finished doing all of the increases for the head of the cockatiel. So this is the biggest he's gonna be. This is as, like as wide as his head is gonna be. So it's just gonna be a little baby. It's so cute. Okay guys, so I wanted to do a time check. It is now 4.13, so it's been like 30 or 40 minutes-ish, and I got this much done so far. So basically, I only have to do like two or three more rows of yellow, and then that's basically it with the head. So this pattern has been working up super, super fast, so super excited to be almost done with this guy. Okay, so this is how he's looking so far. I just put the eyeballs in. Oops, oops. <laughs> As you can see there, Honestly, I'm kind of scared because the next part involves putting in the beak, but Lauren added a ton of photos, which is super helpful because like this kind of stuff, I am really not good with doing embroidery. So let's see how I do. I did it. So he has a little face. Totally ignore the inside, which looks horrible, but look at how cute he looks so far. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Honestly, these photos were such a lifesaver because I have never been able to embroider something like that on a face and have not mess up like a thousand times. So I'm really, really happy with how it's turning out so far. Thank you so much, Lauren, for all these amazing photos because it really helped me with this. Here he is so far. So he is missing his little, I don't know, hair things on the top, his feet and his tail, but this is him. He's super cute and I gave him his little wings on the sides, but it is six o'clock now. So I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna make some dinner and tomorrow is my very first day of law school classes. So I do have to like get my backpack together and review some of my readings for tomorrow just so I don't sound dumb in case the professor calls on me. So I'm gonna finish this guy tomorrow, but I only have class until 12.30, so this is gonna be like my thing that's getting me through the day so I can come home and finish up this little guy. So say bye for today. Hi guys, so it's now the second day of me working on this and I just got back from class and I wanted to de-stress from the day by crocheting a little bit. So all we have left to do is just to make the little hair pieces and then I can show you here. So we just have to make the little hair pieces and then also his feet and then his little tail and then he's gonna be done. So yeah, we're almost done. Okay guys, he is done. Here he is, look at him and his cuteness with his little hair on his head and his little feetses and his little tail. He's so baby, so tiny. I absolutely love him. I will say a couple things that I personally wasn't a fan of with this pattern. I didn't really like the feet part. I wish that they were like actually like 3D pieces that I could actually attach. I just feel like these are a little bit kind of like flimsy almost, but maybe I just read the pattern wrong. 
And then also a note about the pattern. So I would consider myself like an, an advanced crocheter. So at times I felt like the pattern could be like a little wordy or a little bit like too explanatory. But if you're a beginner, that's honestly better for you. So that's just one thing to keep in mind if you do buy the book. So thank you guys so much for watching and getting to crochet my new little friend with me. I hope you enjoyed and this book you can purchase from any major book retailer. I just did a Google search right now and it's being sold on Amazon, on Target, Walmart, places like that. And if you want to buy the kit, you can buy the kit directly from Lauren's website, which I'll put down below. It's a menagerie of stitches.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Bye.